What's up, YouTube fam? We are still here in San Miguel de Allende. I think I do like, you know, another simple walk and talk for you all. Maybe not talk so much and kind of show you some more. You guys let me know what you think about that. But I want to show you a little bit more of the city. Now, it is a small city, uh, but it's very colonial, as I said before. Very colorful. And you can see all the churches. You can see all of the cathedrals. Let's take a look at what this is over here. Across Mexico, you're going to see a lot of people who celebrate their heroes. And this looks like this was a saint or a pope here, rather, part of the Catholic diocese here. All right. As you can see, a beautiful church here. Let's get up a little bit more, a little bit closer so we can see. So this one, I'm going to show you the detail on that. That is fantastic. And it's been preserved over time. Now, this is Sacrosanta Basilica. And this is one of the other basilicas, as you can see. And then if you go way up here, if I step back a little bit, you can see the bells up there. And they definitely ring those bells. So uh, you're quite essential, uh, you know, church in Mexico, Latin America. But it's always impressive to me the way they preserve these things. I mean, it's, I mean, this is not just Mexico, but I mean, all around Latin America, again, they take great pride in that, you know, especially Catholic countries. So you're going to see a lot of it. For the vast majority of them, they they keep it preserved, you know, and that's a good thing. You know, that sense of pride. They're really uh, proud of, of that. And, you know, of course, you know, religious sac sacrament as well. But, yeah, it's always something nice to look at. I love architecture. So I don't know if I told you that before. You probably heard me say in other videos, I love architecture. So it's always cool to see, you know, these classic ones. Hundreds, they've been around hundreds of years, you know. So that's the impressive part. And now here's another square, as you can see. Now, mind you, this is a Monday, all right? This is a Monday, and there's a lot of movement out here, which is good to see. Some places you only see movement in, you know, certain days of the week. Here's another side to this big old church, Basilica. It's amazing, isn't it? Very impressive. And you have people out and about selling their goods, relaxing. You know, I guess a typical Monday, you could say. For me, it's Labor Day, so <laughs> I got the day off. No work today. Let's go ahead and take you up here. This is a monument. Let's see what it's about. Kind of see you in the park around. Let's check this out. See all those pigeons? <laughs> now, this is a pretty impressive statue. This is in el marco de los festejos del Bicentario de Erórico Colegio Militar. So honoring a military school. And you can see a historic figure here. And man, these statues are very, very intricate, very detailed. Uh, they take it seriously. They're national heroes. Their pride is something none other. You know, next to none, <laughs> I wanna say. But uh, that's good, you know, you gotta love your country. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, it's a really nice vibe around here. I mean, like I said, it's, you know, it's chill, but there's things to do. Restaurants, there's different bars, there's crafts, you could do tours. It's probably too late in the day to do a tour right now, I think, I don't know, but that's fine. I need to exercise, I'm gonna walk around, get those steps in, get my 10,000 steps. But yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit, because as I was discovering more, I figured why not just, you know, show you all what I see, you know, so you can check it out. So basically, we're in the state of Guanajuato. Now, I was just in Guanajuato City before I was here, as you all see in the previous videos. So, it's a little bit of a street here. So it's like an hour and some change um, from there, just because you're going on smaller roads, you're not going on like highways, but it's not that bad. You know, you get to see beautiful views coming here, of the mountains, the countryside. So I would say you can pretty much get here from any major city. I mean, Mexico is very well connected with buses. Like you could take a bus almost anywhere in the country. I mean, you could go clear across the country from the extreme, uh, extreme south to the extreme north. And like, you could do that by bus if you choose. So there is that option. Of course, there's flying as well. But if you're within a few hours, I mean, it's, it's good to take, you know, uh, I, like, I like road trips. And sometimes too, to keep in mind that 
if you go into smaller airports, it's gonna cause a little bit more. So buses usually are our best bet. And for the most part, bus stations are within the city limits, sometimes even right in the middle of the city center. So, you know, that, that's definitely a plus, I would say. You see they have different cocktails here. They got food. Okay. So it's a typical kind of thing. And then they'll have like prepared drinks, mixed drinks. Then you see here. It looks really interesting. Restaurant and bar. Hola, my friend. Hola, buenas, How are you? Todo maravilloso. <laughs> Gracias. Are you from USA? Sí, yo vivo en Guadalajara, pero estoy aquí paseando. Sí, estoy mostrando a la gente. Yo tengo canal de YouTube. Estoy mostrando a la gente la ciudad. Pero sí. Inglés, sí, claro, soy de Estados Unidos. <laughs> pero gracias, tú hablas inglés también, también. Eh, solo de Nueva York. Pero vivo en México por cuatro años. Sí. Gracias, gracias. También yo hablo portugués porque viví en Brasil por tres años. Sí, entonces. Oh, yo conozco un poquito, pero bueno, tú hablas bien inglés también. Y Brasil es. ¿Cómo es la economía de Brasil? Eh, ¿Comida? La, la economía. Ah, la economía es muy bueno. Sí. Es muy bueno, es uh, bastante industria, es muy fuerte economía. No solo turismo, pero parecido con México. Muchas cosas naturales, uh, petróleo, todo. Sí, es muy bonito. Sí, pero, es, es, uh -huh. Según la, la, la economía, es mejor la de, uh -huh. la de México. ¿no? Yo creo, pero es muy cerca. Porque aquí la economía está creciendo bastante. Pero sí. Pero bueno, amigo, mucho gusto. Yeah, so, you saw some of that uh, conversation. Here there's a lot of foreigners, so they're used to seeing people speaking English. So he was practicing his English with me. And then, if you all didn't understand what I was saying in Spanish, I was basically just talking about my experience in Mexico. And then I told him that, you know, I, of course, English. And I, I, I mean, obviously, I speak English because I'm from the United States. But, uh, he was complimenting me on my Spanish. And then I told him I also speak Portuguese because I used to live in Brazil. And he was asking me about the economy of Brazil. If I had a little more time, I probably would have chatted, but you know, I don't want to uh, derail the whole point of the video. <laughs> but I guess it's a part of life, capturing these moments you don't expect. So yeah, so this is San Miguel de Allende, y'all. Hope it gets a little bit of what it's like around here. A little, little bit of that, that church, a little something, something for y'all. But yeah, let's see, gonna continue exploring. And I'm gonna be taking you with me once I find, ooh, check that out. I think that's like a hotel. There's a lot of these boutique hotels here that are very nice. I almost stayed in one, but you know what? I just got an Airbnb, so it's all good though. So let me take you to the end of the street. Show you a little something. And yeah, just people out and about, going about their business. And this is, this is what it looks like. So I hope y'all got an insight from that. Thank you all for hanging on, and I'll catch you all in the next video.